page, uh, just right on top system. And we're gonna actually see how powerful that is. To have someone give an instruction while looking at you right away. That's the key moment we decide we no longer pay attention to a teacher. And in, in you as the teacher have no clue how many people, like I wish there was a, a instrument that could measure, like you know back when they used to do the, the, the television watching things where they had kids watch the television, the screen to see what they were looking at, like uh, uh, Sesame Street did this to analyze their show. Like if you could have a little sensor that how many eyes are paying attention to you, and when you do certain things, you know, and you're, you can see the little thing on your screen, but, you know, I am now ignoring the teacher. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Okay, go wherever you're going. Yeah, so we're going to stick to the top of page 12, that first measure. Um, I am going to bring it and slow it down just a little bit at 93 and 94. I tried to, you guys just kept pushing it a little bit. I'll do better on that part. And then um, just watch for that and. We would come in on that adagio measure. We're a little bit off, and it's going to stop the rest of the measure. I'm giving right now is in addition to the fact that I thought that you did really well. Um, when we want to show a tempo, remember we show tempo by speed and change of direction. That's right. So how do we show change of tempo? That's right. So keep getting people just to sing in time is really hard. Getting people to change tempo is even harder because that's more complex information. And so when we have to show more complex information, we want to show as much change of direction as possible. Right? And so that means either more high. So when you're worried about people getting you go, one, allelu, show more high, or even go the opposite direction of where the next beat is, which is what I call spiky, and one, and two. That's the ultimate change of direction of where you go like this, right? Or one, and two. But sometimes that gives it just a little bit too much rhythmic syncopation mm -hmm. so a little more either high or even spiky on that but when you ev eventually conduct this at a concert you wouldn't do that because that's not what it sounds like right yeah I mean it's not that that's not the articulation you want there so this is much better in terms of the musicality of it. So let's do that again <laughs> people 
sing. It's one of the easiest to make music words. I feel like I can just get almost anyone to sing Alleluia as opposed to Hallelujah. It, it's, it's such a musical word. Uh, try making the Lou a downer. <laughs> Lower. Lower the Lou. So go all the way. Alleluia. So I think your yaw is high enough, but I think the loo is here and should probably be about there. About belly button for the loo. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. So, you know, and, and sometimes we think that, you know, when we get conductors, we kind of want you to conduct like this all the time which I'm not super excited about. But I think that that has to be an option down there, right? And, and that's a great moment for it. That was awesome, do it again. I won't stop. correct or the phrasing correct and so people stop seeing the pattern even though I think in our mind it's still a pattern right mm -hmm. all right good job Kelsey. Well done. Kelsey, was the next person Terrence? Terrence is four four is it me or is it I don't see you okay. Okay. it's you okay. but he's not here okay. we, we get to use his time for other things like going home and sleeping oh well no <laughs> that's an idea <laughs> Danica has officially given up on Terrence uh, oh. Close the door. I don't know. Is, is the door unlocked? I hope not. Oh, not. <laughs> Just check. Oh. Not so selective. Uh, I'm not so selective. It's rude. I'm so scared. I love it. That's like a You, 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 you oh, have the sort of inappropriate humor I appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you. <laughs> I think there's not a way for this right now. <laughs> you can't fully appreciate that. This is the last class of the, the term, which means we're exhausted, burned out, slightly psychologically yeah, exactly. damaged. All right, All right. All right. All right. achieve it is the glorious way. Yeah. <laughs> try, to, try to get, you know, excited about it. Thank you. 
Um, imagine number page two, first measure, bases. Eye contact. All right. I'm going to actually cue you all at the right time. Can we just start at that? We'll just start with this one. So example, where you go, the praise of God, the praise. Go to the bottom of page number three, second part. And this is when, uh, Danica, you want to, to not get a rebound on one and three. And you want beats two and four to be the movement, where it goes one, two, three, four, one. And what that does is that really shows that dotted chord eight. Praise of God, as opposed to praise of God, and you eliminate the uh, 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 does that make sense? Yes. Because that's, because he kind of goes in between 4-4 four, four and 2-2 and, um, two, two in, in that regard. And I think that, that keeps his piece from just going, uh, 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 in terms of the, the overall articulation. So everybody just try this with, with Danica one time, where you go, watch this, he goes, down, up, across, up, down. It's what I call the butterfly uh, pattern. If you can imagine me drawing on the board, I won't go down to it. It's, it's like a butterfly. See? No? Okay. Right? I don't see it. It's fine. I'll watch. Did you watch it a lot? Or are you guys? The rays of God. The Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, 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 was uh, I was picturing like. I was picturing like. You get it? Like, <laughs> Except this part isn't actually in the gesture. Right? What? Uh, like the, 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 the word mark the isn't like, there. Is this the <laughs> okay? And so this is great when you are in 4 4, but you want to de emphasize the accent on 2 and 4. And you do that by eliminating the rebound on one and three, and instead moving on two and four from the position. So what you've got to do is you go one, two, three, four, one, two, four. You know, on the the dun dun dum e bum 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 that definitely is is in four. The praise of God, the praise bum 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 bum. Wanna try that? You can start anywhere you want, but find one of those spots. Okay, pick up to the bottom of page three in lofty strings. Mm -hmm. In lofty strings, let us rejoice our song and be the praise of God. Right? Here we go. Okay. Joyce, our song, let be so the bridge. Uh, we well, only do it where it happens. Okay. And, and the, the principle here, which is one we haven't talked a lot about this term, because I've hammered only two actual things during this term. One is how do we show tempo? 
Change the direction and speak. Nothing makes a cult leader happier than what, what, uh, having people leader? repeat doctrine. Yes. Uh, and, and, and the second oh, thing, we're in the cult of no, boy, I scared Molly. Molly is out. It's a choir cult, though. It's okay. Cults are just curious. And the second thing is, don't look down when you stop. Your ability to teach is going to be dependent on your ability to stop, right? And if you can't stop this, every time you stop, your choir starts ignoring you, then the best way for you to make your choir sing well is to never stop, mm -hmm. right? Because then they're practicing and paying attention. But you can't ever stop and say what you might do better. You can't do feedback. So learning how to stop is key. And people who are good at stop get to stop more. People who are bad at stop, they just need to keep singing and hope the choir gets better while they're doing it. Uh, but this is another issue, is your gesture should look like the music. It's not an actually radical idea, right? But what does it mean? This is one of those, those key concepts, is we do not conduct beats that aren't sung. We, we're not actively conducting. And so if you're not actively conducting a beat, what do we call that? Passively, Passively conducting. conducting. It's a dead beat. Okay. Yeah, no, right, passively conducting. But the, but the phrase we've used since the beginning of the year is dead beats. Dead beats, that's right. <laughs> and so that's what you're doing on that, is you're doing a dead beat on two and four. And we show a, a dead beat on two and four by doing what on one and three? Not rebounding. Not rebounding, that's right. I mean, there's theory behind all this. This isn't magic, you know what I'm saying? There are very specific things that we can figure out and do. We go one, two, three. Four, you know, so if you go and uh, in lofty strains, let the three joy song song let be the praise of God, the praise of God, the praise, right? Okay. And so you do want an active beat on four there because it goes praise the God, the right. So what what we're asking you to do now is that yes, we have patterns, yes, we do all these things, but how do we make the gesture look like the music. Does that make sense? Let's try that again. Here we go. In lofty strings. Okay. What is a string? <laughs> Strains in lofty strains. What's that, guys? This is, this is because these are hard. Why are these hard? No. Because there's not a lot of space between the notes. No. It's interesting. I don't have to think about that. I don't think that's the right answer, but I've never heard that before. It's because a voiced uh, Z sound turns into an X unless you try really hard. Gotcha. Yeah, voice Z's are really hard. Our Z's are really hard because they're voice. So they turn into not strains, strains, they turn into strains. 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 Which isn't actually a word. Which is good, because some words, if you mispronounce the Z sound, turn into a different word. Can you think of one, Donnie? As <laughs> my favorite, because I'm kind of a seven-year-old at heart. Uh, and then I can listen to the choir saying ass over and over. And they don't even know it. <laughs> like they're singing ass. And, uh, so then I go tell them. And, uh, and it's a lot of fun. Right. Well, someone should tell them, right? It's like leaving your fly open. Someone should tell you. Yeah. Singing ass. Stop that. It's not a good thing. Okay, here we go. Sing it right there. Okay. Right at the concert. Well, what Grandma will notice. Nobody notices. No one notices the singing ass people. It's clear as a day. Are you dead? If you find a way to sing the word ass in this phrase, I give you full right. Okay. Huh. Challenge accepted. Exactly. All right. One more time. One more time. I was so sorry. In lofty strings, let us reach our songs on that day. Because up to this point, 
most of us think about like the basic technical <laughs> ideas, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. And like one, two, three, four, you know, uh, floor, wall, wall, ceiling, right? And so now, and so now it's a whole new level of artistry. And what I did with um, Kelsey was the idea of thinking, right, in terms of space. Mm -hmm. You can do that as well. The rays of God, the rays of God. And I do think you could go a little bit lower. Lower, okay. Yeah, uh, not all the time, but just on really key moments. <laughs> Remember, re yes, it is a release. Uh, 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 everybody, um, go inside your mouth for a second, and, and just and just try to sort of experience what happens on the dust sound. God, what happens? Your tongue comes apart from your teeth. In it, God, yeah. right? So what is the key moment? Is it this, or is it this? Yeah, because if we go God, that's not a anything. That's stopping. Yeah. Right? So it's God, God. So I will use the fingers. Not all conductors believe this is good. I believe they're wrong. Uh, I, I will use the fingers to indicate a release of a consonant. When I mean a release, I don't mean a stop. I mean where that happens in our face. God. I'm just curious. I'm not yeah. Sorry. I've thought a lot about these consonant things. Yeah. Here we go. Let's try that. Just maybe the rays of God. The last one? Yeah. Okay. Voice the T's are really hard. And, and people turn them into what? T's. And, and so that becomes what word? God. 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 Which is what word in German? God. Yeah, ironic, right? We're not. We're not ironic. I thought it was going to be German, so I was like, German. Okay. They just, it proves Germans are lazy. They have lazy consonants. They pronounce God. Wrong. They pronounce God. Wrong. They pronounce God. Wrong. All right, let's get this bitches one more time. Where are we starting? Uh, pick up the basic oh. word. The final of the ourselves from the experience of the music making and we say huh what do I hear and, and that is the act of listening while conducting where we kind of go where we separate ourselves emotionally from the experience which is why in concert I often don't listen uh, because now I'm trying to emotionally connect with the choir as opposed to the rehearsal where I'm going it's an evaluative listen you don't need to do it in concert because you're not going to stop and work on it it's over. It's too late. Here we go. Okay. Right. Ask yourself, what do I hear? From the same five. Yeah. Okay. Yourself that question, then you answered it because all of us are bright enough to do that. And then you said, 
Maybe I can change my gesture to affect that. That's awesome. Do it again. Would a smaller two do that? The praise of God. Make the release on beat two lighter. So if you go and the praise of the praise of God, a smaller release on two will accent of on the end of <coughs> one less. Try. It. Listening at the same time. That's that's a sad fact. <laughs> All right, you have the notes. The praise of God. What did you hear? That was better. What did you hear? Don't say better. You have to say something else. The O oh, was less accented. That's great. And so that was an example of specific feedback. The hardest thing that our student teachers do is they quit and they want to go, that was great. And we're like, you see, I don't, I don't know. That's what Basil has us do. Sorry, that's what Basil has us do every time before. I know. You guys are already attention. working on that, right? But see, I don't well, she's like, you need to like say it's great and then go into Yeah, the, the, the saying it's great is enthusiasm, which our singers need from us. But then as teachers, we, we have to specifically be able to identify yes. what was great. And if you can't think of anything great, then maybe, it wasn't maybe we should have said it. So I should have gone this right away. Or that was a good try. That's another okay. way to go. Yeah. So I should have gone like that. That was better. No, no, I like that. That was great. But then followed up with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But more than anything, I just want to hear you think it. Yeah. Because that's the hard thing for all of us to do. All right. We picked on the for long enough. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Okay. And this is the one class. Now we get more from last year. Class. Remember that? PDA single class. So one class. Oh, that's day one twenty five. Well, did you bring copies? Lord, be still of that song? Of the piano song? Yeah. I think that has it already. Okay, be mine. Oh, I thought you had the final song. They might have it? Oh, okay. Okay. The song. The they might have had it. Alright, so beginning's gonna be in two, but then right into gosh, we're gonna go to four for a slowdown, and then after the fermata on page five, uh, I'm gonna go back into the two pattern. So watch carefully for that um, tempo change.
Uh, you know, but if, if you're a string player, yeah. those lines, that's very Mozart. <laughs> and, and those of you in chamber choir remember the uh, Mass and C. And I mean, those are the tempos we do all the time. Mozart is hard for string players, right? So just, but I think a little bit less. Okay. okay? Let's so let's, let's, let's find the Allegro. Uh, a little more lilt to the Allegro, just a tiny bit. And it still has that Mozart quality, you know what I'm saying? And then at the Adagio, So let's try that right at the beginning. Right at the beginning. Um, let's just not do the whole piano and show. Yeah, just maybe. What do I hear? Okay? That is the question. And you literally have to ask yourself, what do I hear? If you do not, your brain will think about other things. But if you ask yourself that question, your brain will focus. Okay? Right when we start at the adagio, what's the question you're asking? What do I hear on the adagio? Yeah, on that and two, that eighth note. Here we go, right at the adagio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
your name? Aki, yeah, yeah. Okay, make a nice little hill conducting. Go. Kirie. One and two. Make beat too small. One and three. Try that and don't move your shoulders. Is that what you're is that what you want to hear? Ask yourself, what do I hear? And then compare it to what do I want to hear? Okay? So the follow-up question to what you hear is the question, what do you want to hear? This is the task you must perform a thousand times in a rehearsal. What do I hear? What do I want to hear? Right? Everything else is dancing. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, right? So what do you do to de-accent three? Make a smaller gesture from two to three. So not as round and big, okay? And then we gotta go to ball. Alright. What did you hear? Not as much accent on Is it what you want to hear? Not as much accent, so Did you like it? I did like it. That okay, was much better. I, Your gesture did that. We did talk about it. People it's not that there weren't words. But that was your gesture. It was much. We wouldn't have sung that if you'd have conducted it differently. Good job. Yeah. Nice job. All right, Molly's gonna teach us a song really quickly. Hey guys. Okay, so go back to like those piano songs if you remember them. Oh. And do give my regards to Broadway. It's a banger. It's a banger. It's a banger. It's a banger. Oh. By the way, while you're looking for it, don't talk. I'm gonna talk to you. So the final exam, which is really late in the week, I believe it's Friday, which is awful, I'm sorry, but it's not my fault, uh, is going to be, you're going to choose a song from the Baroque or the Classical, not from the Teach a Person a Song part, any song that you would like to conduct, except the one that you've already done. All right? Does it have to be a song that we have in the lesson? Yes, it's going to be one of the songs we already have. We're not doing any more copying. And, uh, and, and we're not teaching Bryson any more new songs. So you're gonna teach, you can all do the same song, I don't care, I mean you can, it can be more than one person on a song, right? And you have to tell me by the end of Monday what that song is, okay? So you're gonna, I'll remind you, but you're gonna email me and I'm gonna make a roster. You're gonna choose a Baroque or Romantic song, a song that you want to conduct, and you're gonna have about nine or 10 minutes to practice that with the group, to lead a rehearsal, okay? And because we've already sung through it, you do not even have to go all the way through it. You can choose to go to a spot. You don't have to use all your time uh, conducting through it. And there will be kind of a written portion of it as well. But I'll, I'll do that in email, all right? Is that clear? Okay, here we go. Yes. There's no alternate time for the final. I, I'm not, the universe doesn't allow me to do an alternate time. I have to request that, if I want to do an alternate time, I have to send an email to the dean requesting it. Oh, you don't want to do that? And then he'll ask why. And I'll have to say, because I don't want to teach on Friday. <laughs> and then that'll make me look super bad. <laughs> well, Sam, it's, it's for benefit of the students. students. So uh, be the university's policies are, if I force the class to do an alternative time, then there, will, there potentially is one person in the class who doesn't want to do that, but goes along with it to make the other people right. happy. Right. And that's unfair to that student. Why and so the way the system works is anyone not the, way, the, the, way the, the way the system works is we do the final exam during the time schedule. Yep. So we do a blind exam. All right. Smaller than no.
Yes. What are we being graded on for the final? Just for your for your conducting and your rehearsal and the written portion. What's that? Okay. Yeah, but it's going to be a score study. It's going to be preparing for. You see conductors are meeting tonight. Yes. Yay.